Well, there doesn't seem much point, really. What? No point in a romantic dinner for two? Yeah, thanks, Pete. That's the one. I just had them lay in a stock of this Chenin Blanc. It's a 68. Rather special. Mmm. Perfect. Ah, just mineral water for Gail. She's on a diet. Very strong-willed woman. Oh, sorry, madam. I hope your liver rots. And are you ready to order, Mr. Robinson? Oh, I think so, yes. Darling? Oh, no, no. You order, darling. Surprise. Mm, OK. Uh, Gail, I'll have the consomme to begin with, and I think a green salad as a main course. And I'll have the asparagus with hollandaise sauce and the lobster mornay. Very good, Mr. Robinson. Won't work, you know. What? You and your dirty tricks. I've only got two days to go and I'm going to win this bet if it kills me. Yeah, well, I think it's going to kill me. I've never eaten so much in all my life. Oh. <laughs> you can't blame me, though. I don't exactly want to go horse riding with you. Mind you, I'd rather forget the whole bet completely rather than argue with you. So you may have forgotten how much we used to argue, but I haven't. Hmm. Well, things have changed since then. Yeah. I'm glad they have. Yeah, me too. I think you went crazy when you were in the States. I missed you so much. I couldn't think, I couldn't sleep, couldn't eat. Hey, careful. <laughs> I wish I'd known. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Mm -mm. Thank heavens. He's looking at you, kid. I don't know why I love you. You're such a stinker. <laughs> and your friend, Mr. Uh, Darcy. Will he be coming to the opening? <laughs>